So welcome to this game analysis um, of the game um, Alessia Tiolaku against Mikhail Zaltaev. Alessia is playing our NRW Youth Cup and um, that's the third event here at the Sparkassen Chess Trophy besides the NC World Masters between Kramnik and Arnand and our Deutschland Grand Prix. And there are young players like Alessia have chances to uh, catch some norms uh, for themselves. And yeah, today you played against Grandmaster Mikhail Zaltaev. How was your game? Uh it was an exciting game. Uh, I think so. Here I started with in this position. Yeah. Uh, I started with e4 because I could have played something like taking on c5 and e4, and then after bishop b7, taking on c5, and then playing some normal move like rook c1. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wanted to try something more. Um, uh, I wanted to take my chances and uh, play for more yeah. than uh, more dynamic. Called, yeah, more dynamic. So I played d5. Because um, the idea was that he couldn't take there. Okay, after take. Take, take. And bishop d5. I had this move. Yes. Nice. G5, and then all my pieces were really active. Even though if my pawn was weak on D5, all my pieces mm. could have moved the rook on D1, E1, all the open files. Yeah. So it was fine. Yeah, and he's a bit behind in development with his pieces. Yeah, and F6 is weakening. F6. Yeah. Okay, so he did not take the pawn. Did not take and play knight A6. Uh, yeah, knight A6. Um, which I thought that it, w it wasn't that great. Uh, so I started with a4 here, mm -hmm. played a4, uh, to open up the position, to open up the a uh, file. Um, um, he took on d5. No, he took? No, yeah, he took, took. And put his knight to c7. Mm -hmm. c7. Now I've played rook e1, tempo move, and also uh, taking yeah. of control of the e file. Um, Rook f e8, which I also thought that it was a mistake. Maybe uh, taking on d5 was better. I what was your idea against knight d5? Knight e5. Um, to take on b5, okay. queen d5. And then bishop f1 or bishop c4? Um, taking on. Yes, something like that. Um, wait, let me think. Okay, it feels not very stable with his pieces. Yeah, knight has to protect the bishop and yeah, very good compensation in this position. Maybe bishop f1, bishop c4, or knight h4, knight f5, yeah? Yeah, that was okay. about this. Uh, so he did not want to take it. Um, so, okay, so here I took on b5, because... Um, um, no, there's bishop a5 as a threat, yeah? Yes, and the queen is kind of trapped there. Mm -hmm. and okay. the, uh, yes, we thought uh, if you if he goes knight b5, you always have rook e6 and rook e1, and here we, yes, we and thought you are very good. Yes, queen b5, I have rook e7. Oh, ah, uh, rook e7 and d6, nice, yeah. nice. And d6. Uh, okay, so you put away his bishop. Yes, and here also uh, bishop d5 wasn't working um, because of some bishop a5. Bishop d5, bishop, bishop a5. a5, take, take there, take there, and I have some queen b3 check and taking back the bishop. Nice calculation, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, oops. Okay, coming back to the game, bishop d6. Bishop d6, knight h4. Uh, here I thought about the queen. I couldn't trap, I couldn't actually trap the queen. Yeah. So I wanted to start an attack on the, the king side. side, yeah, because the king was really weak, all his pieces were here, so I started something mm. there. Um, knight b5, um, here I played bishop b4. Very strong move, yeah, to take the h7 pawn and black cannot play g6, not play h6. Yes, so he, uh, he took on e4, uh, I took with the queen, bishop e5. And uh, here I started with knight f5, but I don't think, after the game now, I don't think that it was the best move, because after knight e6... Uh, um, but this, this worked out well, yeah? This worked out well with knight e7, uh, the game, yeah, knight e7 check. 
King H8 is not possible because of? Um, have some Queen H4, and I wanted to start the, if he takes Rook here, A4. some Rook A4, and I started to have some mates yes. with yes, Queen H7. Yes, let's show if, if Blake does something, you yeah. can <laughs> Queen H7. give a pretty mate here. Yeah. like this, yeah. <laughs> okay. That would have been pretty. Uh, he played king f7. king f7. But your queen h7, that looked yeah. very he good. Took there. Uh, he took on b2. And now I started to be in a little bit of time trouble. Mm -hmm. And um, I played the bishop f4. Because okay. um, yeah, you couldn't take there because there were some mates idea. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Because your hook is activated mm -hmm. then on the e file, so now he took your knight, took but, seven, yes. but your idea was to take on g7. Uh, yeah. Yes. Take, take, take. And here I, I thought after this, uh, I've, I have like queen f6 and it's winning on spot. Mm -hmm. But I missed that. Yeah, so yeah I we saw that. Something, yeah. Yeah. But okay, pretty strong game uh, until here. And now, okay, yeah, you missed yeah. the win, but, but it was winning anyway, yeah? So, okay, we can show after queen f6 it's winning because the knight is lost, yeah. Check and check and, okay, king have to go somewhere and you win the knight. But anyway, the position was that good that it did not matter that much, yeah? And I repeated, and after after queen g7 here, I I saw that after king d8, I saw the idea with queen f6. Ah, okay. Yeah. But he did two and played king b8. Yeah, and okay, and it was some time trouble. Stupid moves, yeah, yeah. Time trouble. Okay, and then at the end. Not so proud of the end, but. <laughs> yeah, but of the game it was pretty strong. Yeah, and now you have all the pawns and it's still winning in the end game. And then he resigned. Ah, he resigned after knight b6, tomb d1, rook d1. He saw enough. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Very nice Thank game. Thank you. And good luck for after for the afternoon Thank game. Thank you. <laughs>